Hello, everyone, and uh, thanks for uh, watching our uh, video. Father Pat with me today, and uh, uh, as we begin anew the uh, Europe Communion, Father, uh, our focus is on Saint Pope John Paul II. That's a mouthful, still, and um, and it's a great time to to study um, Saint John Paul II because of his um, the, the words that he spoke during the Cold War: "Be not afraid," which, of course, is a um, were words we were first told and heard in the gospel through Christ. And there's a, this is a good time to not be afraid, even though it might be a hard time to be afraid. No, you know, uh, when we thought about uh, the year of communion and we thought about um, celebrating St. Pope John Paul II here at this time, you know, we didn't, we didn't think at all about his phrase, do not be afraid, right? We were we were thinking about um, all of his works and all the many things he did um, about communion, especially the communion of uh, a man and his wife. Uh, but it it uh, it certainly is the work of the Holy Spirit because you know we now need more than ever that message of do not be afraid. And you know this last Sunday, that's what the gospel uh, said was do not be afraid. It's uh, yeah, it's not just once in the gospel it says it, but over and over and over again, we hear the phrase, do not be afraid. And um, that, was, that was the phrase that uh, uh, St. Pope John Paul II used in his inaugural homily. Um, and he really, he really built the early part of his papacy around that uh, phrase, do not be afraid. Like you, like you mentioned, right, that was in the, the heart of the Cold War. That was that was in times when there was a lot of reason to be afraid. There was, you know, a lot of social disorder and things there in the uh, early '80s when he um, started his his papacy. Um, not unlike times now. And you know what I what I like about uh, his biographer George Weigel said was that it wasn't that um, Saint Pope John Paul II wasn't ever afraid, but he lived beyond fear, right? He just, he just lived in that, in that confidence and that trust in, in, in God, right? The, uh, the love of God, right? The love of God uh, is what we need to, to, to not be afraid. Um, and that's, and, and, and that's how he lived his life. And, and it's significant, right? Cause this past weekend, we, yeah, we did celebrate the, um, uh, Sacred Heart of Jesus and the Immaculate Heart of Mary, and it is in that that we find our, our we can be not afraid. That it, uh, it is in just recognizing the love, and you know how Mary brings us to the love of Jesus, and then Jesus brings us to the love of God. That if we just absorb ourselves in that, we can go forward without being afraid. So I'll. I'll... Um, put you to the test here and ask you in those times that that we do find ourselves afraid and in fear or filled with worry how do we get out of that how do we escape that yeah saint john Vianney uh says that god commands us to pray but forbids us to worry you know so so that is where each day we have to um come back to that place of peace, right? Call on the Holy Spirit to come in and, and fill us with God's love and, and recognize that love. You know, obviously, um, the ultimate, the pinnacle of that, the pinnacle of receiving God's love is the Eucharist. And, and that's where, you know, every, every time we do come to Mass, every time we do receive the Eucharist, um, you know, we just lay all of our worries at the foot of the altar and um, uh, just allow the, the, the Eucharist to transform us. And I know some these days can't receive the Eucharist, but that's, but that's what the that spiritual communion is all about, right? That, that same thing to just put ourselves uh, spiritually through prayer at the feet of Jesus and uh, put all of our worries there uh, with him and um, turn it all over to him and, and, and just recognize the love, right? We, we still have to go through 
the pains of daily life we still have to go through. You know, it's not like uh, poof and the pandemic will be gone and poof, all the social disorder will be gone and that we won't have any worries at all in our life, nothing to worry about. Um, but, you know, it's, it's that go beyond the fear, uh, go beyond the worries, allow, allow uh, uh, God to just touch your heart and, and fill you with that love the, and the confidence that he's got the ultimate answer, right, with our eternal salvation. And with that, there's, there's nothing to really worry about. Hmm. Coincidentally, or ironically, however you look at it, whichever way, as you know, you're talking about fear and being free of it, uh, all the bells and whistles on our computers go off, and all of which are telling us that uh, the face mask order has just been put back into place, at least in Harris County. So um, it's time to put put these words into practice and be prudent and um, and 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 live as best we can without fear and and, and be smart about how we go, go about our lives. Oh. Yeah, and that's that's where you know we, again we wear the mask uh, to protect the people around us and and so you know without fear right we 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 wear the mask doing what we can uh, to keep the virus from from spreading but trusting in the Lord at the end of the day. And briefly here, I know we're running out of time, uh, Father, but uh, after um, um, we uh, in these next few weeks uh, looking at. Um, the words of um, St. Pope John Paul II and, and, and how to live uh, with courage. Uh, and then we have Freedom Week coming up. And then after Freedom Week, uh, which is um, actually June 22nd through 29th uh, this week, um, beyond that, we will continue our study of uh, St. John Paul II with, with additional topics. Yeah, so, so over the next couple of weeks, as we go through Freedom Week and get ready to celebrate the 4th of July and with July 5th, now, you know, I hope to uh, look more at, at his first work, which was a book called Love and Responsibility, written in the 1960s, written um, while he was a professor, right? It published while he was a bishop, um, that, 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 that really looks at, at at our love and responsibility. It looks at the relationship between a man and his wife and those relationships, but more fundamentally looks at love, looks at friendship and, 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 and how those concepts uh, free us. And so we hope over the next couple of weeks to be spending some time talking about what uh, St. Pope John Paul II said about love and responsibility. Well, the Pat, stay safe and um, have a good week. We'll see you soon. All right. Thank you. Thank you.